Hello friends, welcome to the 44th episode of Joomla 2.5 Custom Component Development Series. In the previous episode, we have learned how to fetch the table name, how to fetch the key name, and how to fetch all the fields from the uh, database table using JTable. In this episode, I will show you how to perform insert, update, edit, delete operation into your tables using JTable. So this is our um, we will perform all the operations using this table. Look, 18 number record is exist in this table. Okay, so let's start. At first, we will perform the create operation. Okay, so let's change this table to our table name. Okay, now here is the table instance. So how how can we insert data into that table? So at first we have to map all the field uh, values according to the field name. So user ID, message, and date and ID automatically insert. So I have to map these two things like user ID and message. So let's create an array. So dollar data. Suppose you you have got this data from post or get method. Okay. Now after uh, getting all the values now you have you want to create an array so dollar data array now dollar data user id id that is logged user j factory get user id so and dollar data message test message via j table okay now let's uh, check what is the array structure so print underscore r dollar data let's give a pre statement so that it's formatted good save and refresh this our test controller page okay so we have these two values so uh, we have these two values and now we will try to store in the database so remember number 18 record is exist so at first we have to bind this data array into the j table so how like dollar table this is our table instance okay you may name it whatever you like some use table some use row okay and some also use chat to represent that object chat message so dollar table now we have to bind and now we have to pass the array so dollar data so we have binded so let's try and check if anything inserted or not so refresh this page and refresh this here you can see nothing that means if you use the bind still not save to the database so we have to call store method so dollar table store okay now click on the save and refresh this page so refresh and if i refresh the table so here you can see the 19 number record the test message via j table so we have not mentioned any insert query but still we are able to insert data that's the beauty of j table or ORM object relational mapping so you understand that how to insert data into the database table now I will show you how to update data so let's uh, make this remark so insert data into table so here insert is done now update before update I want to show how to load data so let's comment this otherwise every time we will refresh every time all the data will be saved so 
how to load data from the table name so while we have mentioned the J table we have mentioned this key so using that key we can uniquely identify a record because it's a primary key okay so using that ID we can fetch any record so let's fetch the 19 one so dollar table load now we have to pass the key that is 19 what is the 19 that is our key okay table key this one ID or you have mentioned any other then so 19 so let's save and uh, print the table instance so save and refresh this page so we can see lot of things but if you look at the bottom of the page so here you can see the row value that is ID is 19 user ID is 750 message is so we are able to fetch that row if I change this so let's check like this one you 13 so if I change this to 13 and save and if I refresh this one so here you can see the value changed so we are able to load data from the database table without select query just using J table okay so we have load the data now I will show you how to update data okay so if you want to update the data at first you want to you have to load the data okay so let's say I want to update this first number record high to high edited via J table so at first I need to update uh, I need to fetch load that data row so now you are thinking that of where you will get this one because you will get from the post request or from the guest request be because you will pass like ID equal to 1 or ID equal to 2 etc so it's not tough to get this ID that is very easy so after this you will perform this operation but don't worry if you don't understand just uh, write comment below this video I will explain again so update data so I want to update this one okay so at first we have to load that row so dollar table load and mention the key name that is ID value 1 now we have loaded so if I uh, refresh this page now we can see the first number record now we will modify all the details so let look this is an object and this is basically a property like ID user ID so we can modify like message so let's modify the message before print so dollar table this pointer message equal to hi I am edited okay so now if I refresh this page so here you can see I am edited but if I refresh the page like database table still we can see the high because we have modified its dynamically and we have not saved our changes to the database so so now if I call after edit now if I called dollar table store so let's check is it working or not so we have saved now if I refresh this database so here you can see I am edited so that means we are able to update so let's update that 18 one so at first you need to face that row using that key so we have paste and let's update 18 is updated so save and refresh this page so updated so let's refresh this page so here you can see 
the 18 is updated so that means we are able to perform the update operation also so here we have done the create operation here we have done the select operation and here we have done the update operation now I will show you how to perform the delete operation delete operation so at if you want to delete one record then you have to mention the primary key of that record so let's say I want to delete the 11 okay so using that instance like dollar table delete and just mention your key that is 11 so save and refresh this page sorry this one refresh this page so let's refresh our database table data so now here you can see the 11 is missing that means we're able to delete our data from the database so let's delete the 18 one also so 18 just save and refresh this page and refresh the data so now here we can see the 18 is missing so we are able to select update delete vegetable without writing a single line of query that's the awesome thing in Joomla okay now uh, some people may understand uh, may not understand that we have loaded the data but how we can display in the edit form like we have passed uh, in the edit view uh, like view equal to edit ampersand id equal to something id equal to um, 2 so id equal to 3 let's say so 3 we have got but how we can display in the form field because now you can using this one you can easily display so let's at first load this one okay now we you can echo individual data so echo dollar table just table id echo dollar table user id echo dollar table message echo dollar table date time okay and mention horizontal line so that you can see different line save and refresh our controller page so here you can see for the three number record we fetch all the details now you can do anything you can display in the text box as a default parameter or you can um, display any formatted output okay so if I change this value to 19 save and refresh this page here we can see we have fetched all the details so in this way you can perform create update read delete operation to your database table using the database instance so thanks for watching this tutorial and guys please uh, subscribe to my channel and if you have any question suggestion just write below this video write your comment and in the next episode I will take one more episode for J table in the next episode I will explain like check in check out publish ordering ordering table etc using J table so thanks for watching thank you